my mother was first diagnosed with cancer when I was 17. And she lived uh, with it on and off for uh, another 25 years. And uh, she died age 66 in early 2014. Um, so my, m my personal experience of it is both hugely positive in terms of the changes that I saw in cancer treatment over that time with mum. must have been incredible, Kirsty, because we know what's been achieved in the last two decades in terms of stats, but to see it, to live it, for it to be a tangible experience. I mean... It's extraordinary. And the first time mum did chemotherapy, it was absolutely horrible. And then, uh, it, then you know, there was no pill form in those days. Uh, they knew much less about hair loss than they know now. All sorts of things. And... A lot of those things around what happens when you have a cancer diagnosis and, and the treatment are why people can be so worried by it and frightened by it. And one of the most troubling things about cancer is that so many people are diagnosed in an A&E department. So they, why is that? Because they know that there's something wrong and they're afraid. Quite understandably. But the thing is, the sooner you can get it diagnosed the sooner the doctors can get on with doing something about it, the more likely you are to up your chances of continuing, you know, forever, as long as you and I. So that is one of the, the things that I always think is that it, when, when I'm doing work for Stand Up to Cancer, I'm, I'm a bit torn because you want to talk about raising the money and the funding and how cancer can be really crippling for a family. But at the same time, you want to be positive about it because you know that if people are too frightened and concerned by cancer, they are not going to seek treatment as early as they should. And that and is... The sooner you yeah. are diagnosed, the better your yeah. chances. And yeah. that's with any form of cancer. Yes, 